Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Oliwa Tushay. If you want to know how to prepare healthy meals or you want to cook without using Starbucks seasoning cubes, I mean you want your meals to be MSG free, this is the right place to be. Consider subscribing. Just click on the red button below and you are in. And to my returning subscribers, thanks for always tuning in. Today's recipe is banger soup. This is a bunch of palm fruits. If you have a bunch like this, start by plucking each fruit out of the bunch. If you are using your bare hands, do this carefully so as not to prick your fingers with the thorns. To be on the safe side, you can get a thin but strong metal or iron that can easily go into the tiny pores of the bunch without necessarily um, causing a puncture on the fruits. In this case, I'm using a screwdriver as you can see. Benefits and um, nutritional value of banga soup. Banga soup is known to be very rich in fiber. It contains vitamins A, E and K. It is a good and healthy soup for those with high blood pressure. Delta states, particularly the Yorubo tribe, are known to have this soup as one of their favorites. Although, a lot of people in Nigeria now consume this soup. So, people like me, banga soup is one of my favorites. Once I'm done plucking the fruits, I'm going to use my one cup measurement to measure the fruits so that I can have an idea of how much or to know the quantity a bunch can give me, a bunch of palm fruits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 11 so the 11th cup is not all that full so you can just say maybe between 10 and 11 cups is what you can get from a bunch of palm fruits here are the ingredients before I go to the details I just want to show you how I made my onion ginger garlic paste I'm going to be using one medium sized onion bulb two small sized cloves of garlic and ginger about two inches long i'll be blending all this together with half cup of water to make the ginger garlic onion paste you have the tripe that's shaki six pieces these are dried washed and dried bitter leaf half cup then the catfish is um, about there are three pieces then the grilled goat meat six pieces this is crayfish and i'll be using half cup of crayfish grounded not to a smooth and texture and that is how i want it okay i have one tablespoon of mixed spice i made a video on mixed spice you can check the video too to know the constituents so that's lemongrass. I also made a video on lemongrass. You can check it up. The link is up at the top right corner of the screen. Kindly watch it and see some of the health benefits and the uses of lemongrass. So that's one fourth of a teaspoon of lemongrass and the salt 
one tablespoon of salt that's ground fish or fish powder half cup then I have ground chili pepper one tablespoon after washing the palm fruits properly the next thing is to pour in the pot pour water until it covers everything in the pot and boil for about 20 minutes the indicator is that it should be soft until you can press open the husk with your fingers after boiling drain the water using a sieve and then move on to remove the husk from the kernel you can use any of the two methods that I'll be showing you method one pounding lightly in a mortar and pestle like so method two which I'm going to be using for the remaining part of the, the skinning so I'm going to use the food processor The rest will be done in the food processor as I've earlier mentioned. This recipe is not showing how to make palm oil. As this banga is quite different from the palm oil. In the sense that for palm oil, a very high heat is needed for the extraction, which means the palm oil contains more saturated fats than the banga, that is the palm fruit juice. In my opinion, you can replace some of your palm oil meats with banga. Especially when you cook some of your soups, just add some of the banga paste to your recipes. For you to achieve this without stress, I'll suggest you make this in bulk, that is the banga paste. Then you store in your freezer until when needed. Or you can purchase the already made banga paste that you are sure to be 100% organic and healthy. There is a difference between the banga juice and the banga paste. Once you dehydrate the juice, either by boiling or by some other means, what you will have left is the banga paste. After the skinning, that is after removing the husk from the kernel, okay, you pour some water and try to sieve out the oil paste from the kernel. You can do this two times or more, but ensure you do not pour too much water in the process so as not to have a watery soup This is what we got. You can call it palm fruit juice. Okay? We will pour all of this into the pot for the cooking to begin. Start adding the ingredients one after the other. Cover the pots and allow to cook. But note that as you pour the ingredients, any other can be, can be followed. But make sure you put everything you want to put in the pot.
so you cover the pot and allow to cook until you are satisfied with the thickness or the consistency of the soup check the soup add the bitter leaf check the soup again to know if the salt is okay it is okay you don't need to add any more salt other than the one tablespoon you put initially please note that in the bit of trying to cook without the store-bought seasoning cubes you do not add too much salt into your meals especially if you've been advised by your caregiver your doctor your physician to reduce your salt intake this um, soup or this sauce or this special stew can be used for any of your staple food any of the foods you swallow like like panda yam your fufu your eba and do you know that you can even eat it you can take it with rice yam in fact this banga soup is an all-purpose soup what do you think about this soup let me know in the comments below Thank you for being part of the preparation of this delicacy. Try this at home and I'll wait your comments below. Until I see you in my next video, stay blessed, stay safe.